what is socio cultural change why we want to change everyone want to change why, why you are sitting here social change first is i don't know about service i want to do service sir second category of people will be there already i experienced too much poverty i want to earn money my target is to earn money second category people third category people i want to 10 crore dowry third category people fourth category people i want to become ips this relatives harassed my family members my father so i want to become an ips officer and i want to take revenge fourth category so everyone have their own reasons but one of the most familiar reason is what elevation respect privilege social status social status change social status change so how i should change my social status it is no one is allowing why because rigid four fold classification is already present in hindu social system hindu social system means indian social system indian social system means village social system village social system means caste system already have their own rigidities but lower caste have a tendency please i want to elevate my social status i also want everyone to be respect everyone should respect me so a concept was devised by mn srinivas a anthropologist called as mn srinivas a great anthropologist a great socio social anthropologist called as mn srinivas he graduated from oxford university he did field works in karnataka villages he studied kurgu society kurgu region he studied kurgu society in kurgu society rigid caste system was there he studied it he did field works there he did ethnographic studies mean studying one community is called as ethnography he studied ethnographic studies there who mn srinivas and there he noticed there he noticed in south india in kurgu region of karnataka he noticed at the time it is mysore state 1940s he noticed there lower castes are also becoming upper castes lower castes are also becoming upper castes how by emulating emulating means copying by emulating the lifestyle of upper castes so he is telling that the caste rigidity is not present in kurgu society of south india the lower caste can also become upper caste how will do now mn srinivas gave the definition of sanskritization he explained he gave the concept called as sanskritization remember forever sanskritization is given by whom mn srinivas mn srinivas gave the definition gave the concept of sanskritization according to him initially what is sanskritization listen sanskritization is a phenomenon means a process in which lower caste lower caste caste is present only in hindus lower caste which have a tendency to move higher which have a tendency to move higher in the caste hierarchy what is the caste hierarchy shudra vaishya kshatriya brahmana a lower caste person is having a tendency to elevate to higher social status hierarchy in one generation or two generations in generation or two generations how by adopting by adopting what what is there in brahmins vegetarianism how by adopting tea totalism no alcohol how and by adopting sanskritizing its ritual practices and pantheons gods so he told that there is a concept called as sanskritization whereby the lower caste people can also become upper caste how by emulating the lifestyle of upper by emulating the lifestyle of notes of a topper by model answers of a topper by study hall of topper in which study hall he studied in which institute he studied i will repeat the same so emulating of up same thing it's a it's a general tendency it's a general tendency so sanskritization is also same concept whereby a lower caste person want to emulate the lifestyle of upper caste believing that he will also become upper caste why for status for social status 
that particular concept is called as sanskritization in which book he gave m n sin was mentioned sanskritization in his book called as book names you have to remember religion and society among the kurks of south india in the year 1952 he studied in 1940s and he written a book and the book was out in 1952 the book name is religion and society among the kurks of south india the book was ethnological study means what is ethnological study he went to a community called as kodavva community of kurk he studied them he also compared with other societies from this and observations he written this book in this book which concept is present kodava community of mysore state at that time mysore state no then came karnataka then what happened then what happened some people started criticizing him hey man mn srinivas srinu what is this srinu only you are talking only about hindu caste system your definition is mainly with respect to lower caste want to emulate the caste of upper caste no i noticed in other places also like adilabad gonds of telangana state gond tribal people there is one particular group within the gond people who are called as rajgonds raj is a word which is associated with rajputs a gond is a tribal person but he emulated the lifestyle of kshetriyas like rajputs and he himself they themselves named as rajgonds but you are telling it is only in hindu social system only the hindu caste groups can become sanskritized but tribals also becoming now for example so people started criticizing mn srinivas so what he did he modified the definition of sanskritization which was limited to hindu social system he made it secular and told that it is not just in hindu social system a tribe can also become a tribe can also become a brahmin a tribe can also elevate his social status a tribe can also elevate his position so he he told that it is not just limited to hindu social system any community who is emulating the lifestyle of upper caste that community will also become that is called as modified definition of sanskritization sanskritization is a process in which lower hindu caste group what is this lower caste lower caste lower hindu caste and what he told or varna here or is not there or varna or a tribe or other group like any religion also or any group changing its rituals customs ideology and the new way of life in the direction of frequently twice born caste groups twice born caste group means upper caste people are called as brahmins are called as twice born people twice born people means vijas vija means what vija means twice born people twice born people means what my original birth my first birth second birth when i go for upanayana ceremony janjam upanayana ceremony that is called a second birth so for a brahmin two births will be there one birth is called as original birth second birth is when he is going for upanayana ceremony so that wearing of that sacred thread wearing of that jinjom is a second birth and this is allowed only in brahmana kshetriyas and vaishyas only brahmana kshetriyas and vaishyas are allowed to wear this sacred thread when this upanayana ceremony is happening that is called a second birth so second birth means upper caste it can be a brahmin it can be kshetriya it can be vaishya so up to now he told that only a lower caste person can become a upper caste person but now he is telling it is not only the lower caste person or a varna or a tribe or any other social community by emulating the lifestyle of high frequency twice born caste who are high frequency twice born caste means who is having janjam who is into the upanayana ceremony who are those brahmana kshetriyas and vaishya so in this way he modified the definition of uh 
in this way he modified the definition of sanskritization then how many models of sanskritization are there how many models of sanskritization means what where where the lower caste want to become or how many ways of modifications are there how many ways of emulations are there so four models of sanskritization are there in four ways i can become or my social status can become upper in four ways four models of sanskritization one is brahmanical model other is vaishya model or kshatriya model other is vaishya model other is tribal model also what is that i will tell you so first is there are four models of sanskritization m n sin was proposed four models of sanskritization number one is called as brahmanical model what is that lower caste emulating the model of brahmin in sanskritization four models first model is called as brahmanization brahmanical sanskritization or brahmanical model means emulating the lifestyle of brahmin i am a lower caste i am emulating the lifestyle of brahmins how vegetarianism adopting vegetarianism giving up widow remarriage wearing sacred thread teetotalism no alcohol and following the concept of purity and pollution so we brahmins are pure or if it is kshatriya kshatriyas are pure if they are vaishyas vaishyas are pure you shudras you are impure by following purity and pollution concept example the best example in karnataka everyone knows this lingayats are originally backward communities lingayats are originally backward communities very influential caste group in karnataka lingayat edurappa lingayats are not brahmins but what they did they wanted the social status they also want to be treated as elites so what the lingayats did they emulated the lifestyle of brahmins like what vegetarianism teetotalism teetotalism is no alcohol teetotalism no widow remarriage restricting the freedom of women adopting sanskritic traditions adopting ritual practices adopting the concept of purity and pollution and called themselves as what lingayat brahmins today lingayat brahmins are vegetarians in karnataka originally they are not how by sanskritization lingayat call themselves as lingayat in andhra pradesh vishvakarmas are called as vishvakarma brahmins why sanskritization by sanskritization they they get the social status of upper caste the first model is what brahmanical model the second model is called as kshatriya model where i want to become a kshatriya by becoming kshatriya i am going to get huge respect the second model is what kshatriya model so what i will be adopting abolition of widow remarriage by wearing sacred thread limited occupation what is occupation of kshatriyas warriors warriors limited occupation to become soldiers and rulers and called themselves as kshatriyas for example examples life for paper to whatever you are telling it should be substantiated gadariyas of uttar pradesh traditional shepherds emulated kshatriya model and acquired what status kshatriya status a tribe which is rajgond of deccan plateau adopted the lifestyle of kshatriyas and called themselves as kshatriyas rajgond kshatriyas kshatriya model whereby a lower caste group adopting the kshatriya status and calling themselves as kshatriyas why third vaishya model whereby a vaishya he want to become a vaishya how it resembles brahmanical model same thing brahm vaishya is also almost same like what teetotalism vegetarianism no widow remarriages it resembles brahmanical model the rituals and food habits are almost similar to brahmins but the only thing is the brahmins occupation is priest but the vaishya's occupation is business trade 
Most of the tribal communities, artisans and farming communities adopted Vaishya models. For example, Tellis of Odisha became Vaishyas. Earlier tribal people who adopted oil making as their occupation and now they are Vaishyas. Why? Because they are the tribes, now they are the Vaishyas. So they want to get the social status, so they adopted what? Oil making as their occupation. By entering into it, they also adopted what? Teetotalism, vegetarianism, Sanskritic traditions. So they themselves called now? So a, lay, a lower caste group or a lower varna or a lower tribe by emulating the lifestyle of upper caste, his social status is getting that is called as Vaishya model. Fourth model, which is called a Shudra and tribal model also. Sir, according to you, I want to become upper. So Shudra himself is a lower. Then how there can be another model which is called a Shudra and tribal model? Shudras, who are not allowed to become Brahmins. See, it's also they should allow, no? Shudras, who are not allowed to be Brahmins, who are not allowed to be Vaishyas, who are not allowed to be Kshetriyas. But they are subjected to discrimination, untouchability. They are subjected to discrimination. So they want to come out of the discrimination. They understood that they are going to treat me and they are treating me like untouchable. In this caste hierarchy, Someone told me there is one tribal community in the forest. Egalitarianism is there. People live freely. Equality prevails. But in villages, what is there? Brahmanical domination is there. Kshetriya model is there. Vaishya model is there. And the Shudras are treated inferior. So this Shudra, what he is doing, so as he is not allowed to become a Brahmin, Kshetriya, Vaishya, he adopted tribal model. Why? Because in tribe, there is no untouchability. In tribe, there is no discrimination. In tribe, there is freedom. In tribe, there is no restrictions. So, a Shudra adopted tribal, tribal model. Fourth model is added later by Men Srinivas. Shudras who were discriminated aspires to come out of the oppression, hence emulated the lifestyle of tribals. Tribals who believed village life as a resource-oriented life joined village life as Shudras also. So, Shudra became a tribe. But there are instances where the tribe thought that I don't have resources. I don't have job. Hunting is lucky factor. So no stability of income, no stability of food. There are some villages. Compulsory. It might be any model, any caste, but I am going to get livelihood. Some work I will get. Some food I will get. So my family can survive. So, tribes who doesn't have resources, they started emulating the model of village and they entered into the village hierarchy. For what purpose? Livelihood. For livelihood, for resource person. So, when the tribe came, Brahmin did not allow. Kshetriya did not allow to enter into them. Vaisha did not allow to enter into them. So, who allowed? So, tribe became? Shudra. So, there are examples where a Shudra became a tribe and a tribe became? Shudra. Shudra became tribe because? To come out of oppression, to come out of discrimination, to come out of the caste-based discrimination which is present in villages. So where he, where there is no discrimination, where? And the tribe came to villages. Why? He understood that there are there is a livelihood in the village. There is a livelihood in the village. He understood that there is resources in the village. So for the resources, he came down to? But Brahmins didn't allow, Vaisha didn't allow, Kshetriya didn't allow. So only one is left. Who is that? Shudra. So a tribe became a Shudra and a Shudra became a? The same is also accepted by Bailey, a British anthropologist. So what the M.N. Sin was told, a British anthropologist also supported. So his concept becoming more stronger now. His theory is becoming more concept. Why? Because it is also accepted by British anthropologists like? As Bailey accepted, value added to his concept. According to Bailey, lower caste groups in order to come out of oppression from caste hierarchy, they adopted tribal model of living, which they thought that tribals are superior with respect to living standards. So, Shudra became a tribal, which is already told by or which already advocated by Bailey is same with M.N. Srinivas. Hence, Bailey accepted what M.N. Srinivas? 
whereas there are some tribals who emulated the lifestyle of lower caste for example todas emulated by lower caste means lower caste people shudras within the vicinity of nilgiri hills of tamil nadu who were being subjected to discrimination because of their caste they emulated which lifestyle toda so lower caste people became what toda same way bills want to change their lower change as lower caste group in caste hierarchy for the sake of resource a bill became shudra a lower caste became toda so shudra model and tribal model shudra model and tribal model where shudra is becoming a tribe and a tribe is becoming a shudra. according to mn srinivas sanskritization is not just adaptation of new customs and habits but also include exposure to new ideas and values appearing in sanskritic literature he the words like karma dharma papa papa not that papa papa means sin, sin. sin. papa maya samsara and moksha are the most common sanskrit theological ideas which become common in talk of people who got sanskritized it's not only about vegetarianism it is not only about teetotalism it is not only about widow remarriages it is about the principles the ideas the theological principles which are present in hinduism is also adopted like what karma dharma papa sin moksha so they completely got sanskritized so it is not just about adopting few aspects adopting all aspects like philosophy of hinduism was been adopted in the process of sanskritization in the process of sanskritization criticism evaluation so we are evaluating evaluation of sanskritization what whether what mn sin was told is correct or wrong number 1 earlier he gave the definition that only lower caste will be becoming like upper caste it was criticized so he modified his definition so criticism first criticism was sanskritization is criticized for being narrow and only for hindu because of this criticism he modified definition because of this criticism only hence he told it is not only lower caste it can be a tribe it can be a varna it can be any other group who want to elevate is social state number 2 untouchables cannot enter the upper caste through the process of sanskritization he told but untouchables were not allowed why because see if i want to become brahmin brahmin also should accept no if i want to become the kshatriya the kshatriya also should accept then only i will get the legal backing then they accept then they adopt then they also adopt me into the temple then only i will be totally brahminized just by emulating the lifestyle they might accept or they might not accept linga is same problem happened linga is of karnataka they claimed themselves as lingayat brahmins brahmins revolted how you can become brahmin you are not then a conflict happened within the lingayats and brahmins slowly 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 brahmins adopted them hence the name called lingayat brahmins and they are continuing today as vegetarians the later movements like lingayat movements helped untouchables in the process of sanskritization why because they themselves were lower caste they are not a lower caste were not allowed untouchables were not allowed so there is a conflict then lingayat fought then the lingayats were been accepted into the hindu fold then they called themselves as lingayat brahmins in the process what they did untouchables also became sanskritized earlier untouchables were not allowed but because of movements like lingayat brahmins movement lingayat movement then they adopted eventually un- untouchables also became brahmanized mns ignored process of social change other than sanskritization he told only one concept which is called as sanskritization whereby any lower caste will be emulating the lifestyle of upper caste and will be becoming upper caste but 
there are other concepts like westernization there are other concepts like westernization what is this westernization or modernization what is this there is a hierarchy there is a hierarchy shudra vaishya kshetriya and brahmana indian social system or hindu social system four fold classification but what happened in 17th century 18th century one group came british group came and they told to indians they told to brahmins kshetriyas vaishya shudras we are more civilized group we are more knowledge group we are more intelligent groups so when you talk with respect to social status we are on the top so fifth branch evolved fifth group evolved which is called as britisher and this britisher started controlling brahmins so brahmins also started learning english language so when the brahmins brahmins themselves started learning english language means something big is there more than the brahmins then what is it british model so for the social status a shudra who got english language is also who learned english language also his social status got elevated the person who is from vaishya community or kshetra community who is emulating the lifestyle of british model or wearing the british dress or talking dugna lagan those people status will be elevated so another community came which is so you are talking only about one concept that social status will be elevated only by sanskritization but there are other concepts like westernization mainly british western people came to india and the british people came above the but you didn't told that a lower caste person his social status will be elevated if he adopt the lifestyle of british model so you forgotten about westernization you forgotten about modernization against this criticism he gave another concept called as westernization so for the criticisms he started giving answers for the criticism he started giving the answers for the criticism he modified the definition of sanskritization for criticism he gave the concept called as westernization sanskritization has become or been termed as what just elite emulation see at that time brahmins were elite so you are emulating the lifestyle of brahmin so if if it is kshetriya is elite then they will emulate it if shudra is elite then they will elite so it is not called as sanskritization or brahmanization it is elite emulation whoever are elite we will emulate om lynch criticized in mn srinivas model saying that in modern era sanskritization will not be according to caste but according to occupations economic and mn srinivas forgotten so who criticized it om lynch a british anthropologist babu srinivas he told you are thinking that only the brahmins are enjoying the higher social status no man if people are having good occupation if the people are economically well off if the people are having political power he might be a shudra or she might be a shudra her social status will be emulated like the president of india ramnath kovind being a scheduled caste his social status is high mormu because of st her social status is not less but because of her occupation her social status is high mayavati because of her political power her social status is high a shudra whose position is an ias officer his social status will be high so om lynch told that you are telling only brahmana kshetriya vaishyas are elites and that elite simulation is happening no man it is not only with respect to caste it is also with respect to occupation economic power and tribal model and shudra model of sanskritization was also criticized how tribe is out of hindu caste system no when you are talking about hindu caste system you have to talk only about brahmana kshetriya vaishya shudra but you are telling that shudra is becoming a tribe and tribe is becoming a shudra it should be within the ambit of hindu social system hence it is criticized 
finally mns means mn srinivas mns mn srinivas accepted this criticism and introduced other concepts like westernization for explaining social change in modern india however we cannot deny the insights given by mns for understanding social today the lingayats are called as lingayat brahmins because of sanskritization so yes there are criticism hence he gave another concept called as westernization it doesn't mean that the concept of sanskritization is null and void the sanskritization gave us insights about our hindu social system gave insights about our caste system gave insights about our indian villages this is about sanskritization a voi to criticism e piyush So when you are talking about Sanskritization, tribe is emulated. Tribe itself is not a Hindu. Hence, it got why because tribe have their own religions. Tribe have their own religions. Evaluation of Sanskritization. Then what happened? Another concept came into existence, which is called as de-Sanskritization. It is not there in your syllabus. But once he asked it in the exam, it's a previous year question. out of the syllabus he asked but as he asked one time again we will do it he might ask again desanskritization is not there in the syllabus what is desanskritization simple concept opposite to sanskritization up to now i want to become a brahmin up to now i want to become a kshatriya and vaishya now a brahmin want to come down a kshatriya want to come down a vaishya want to come down why to enjoy the freedom liberty why a brahmin compulsory should get up early in the morning to do bath in the morning do surya namaskara bath sir 6 o'clock 7 o'clock very rigid very rigid principles so who don't want to be in that rigidity no widow remarriages women are restricted no non vegetarian because of this factors who doesn't want to be in brahmin kshatriyas compulsory their occupation is fixed rulers or soldiers or warriors whose parents doesn't want the child to be a warrior the, they want to have a life so please don't be in kshatriya you come down like vaishya you can do any occupation and we can live why this soldier thing so they changed their so no more the kshatriyas they are vaishyas or down the line so in this way the brahmin came down kshatriya came down vaishya came down that particular process is called as it's a phenomenon whereby there is a tendency emulating the forms of lower caste groups in order to come out of the rigid social norms of upper caste and to make the life as simple as lower caste there are three models one of desanskritization one is called as brahmanical model kshatriya model vaishya model why not shudra model shudra everyone want to become lower no so here brahmanical model means brahman want to come down their brahmanical bond model means becoming like a brahman their sanskritization brahmanical model means becoming like a brahman here brahmanical model means brahman want to so brahman model kshatriya model and brahmanical model the groups who initially by adopting sanskritization moved upwards in the caste hierarchy and the progressive brahmins who want to leave the rigid social norms emulated the life forms of lower castes for example nambudari brahmins of kerala moved downwards by allowing widow remarriages and intercaste marriages they are they are having communist baba jala man communism communist form of ideology is there they themselves are brahmins but they don't accept it so they want to be liberal they want to give freedom to the women they want to be according to the choice they don't want to be in the social norms rigid social norms so they emulated desanskritization who started eating non vegetarian who started consuming tree totalism who started doing intercaste marriages who started doing widow remarriages which was not accepted in that is called as brahmin model of desanskritization 
Kshetriya model of desensitization. Group in order to serve business related occupations, they desensitized. They desensitized sometimes. You know, once upon a time, the people who want to become like soldiers, the people who want to enter into army, it was emotion once upon a time. The application, the population was less, the literacy rate was less. Educated lot, educated people were less. But the percentage of applications going for the defense sector was very high. I am talking about percentage, not numbers. But now if you see, attrition rate is very high in National Defense Academy. If you don't believe, National Defense Academy is one of the finest exam in India. More than civil services. More than civil services. Very, very limited age, 17 to 19 finish, no reservations, only merit will be taken. By 21, 22 years, he will directly become the pilot. There is a chance by the time of retirement, he will be becoming the chief of army. Most of the chief of armies are the, are the graduates from National Defense Academy, Kadakwasla, Pune. But unfortunately, since last one decade, we are seeing attrition rate, 40% who got seat and who started getting training in National Defense Academy. Attrition rate means resignation, coming out, running. Why? A person who cracked NDA is very easy to crack an IIT. 17 years, 18 years, 19 years. No, A person who cracked NDA is very easy him to crack IIT exam. Why? Because NDA exam is tougher than the IIT exam. Now, what the parents are telling, why so much of risk? Why you will get the same amount of salary in corporate? You can enjoy the life. Come and write IIT JE exam. See, who want to diversify their occupation, who don't want to be in the barrier, who don't want to be like a soldier. So they want to come down. K3s of Western India left the profession of soldiers and became. Now, if you see Central Armored Police Forces, my own students are there who are writing names now, four who are Central Armored Police Forces, assistant commandants, they resigned, they didn't give leave, so they resigned. It was not the case earlier. They used to worship serving the nation in working with armed forces. Now, opportunities has been increased. And the people also want to have a safe, happy, the same thing is in America also. In America, you know, defense forces, they work on contract. They will work on contract. For five years, they will go to Afghanistan or five years, they will go for Iraq and they stay there for five years and they will come. They are armed forces also in, on contract basis. So, Kshetriyas who don't want to be in the warrior job. So, they come down by adopting the lifestyle of Vaishya. Example, Kshetriyas of Western India. Vaishya model, they diversify their occupational norms in order to have more opportunities because of huge population in that group. For example, Banias of Gujarat. In Vaishya, only business or else agriculture, only two things. But who want to diversify their occupations, they changed their lifestyle from Vaishya and became other caste groups like Banias of Gujarat. In this way, there are three models of desanskritization. Brahmin himself coming down, Brahmanical model. Kshetriya himself coming down, Kshetriya model. Vaishya himself coming down, Vaishya model. Conclusion? Nevertheless, however, whatever it may be, desanskritization is not so popular as because they emulated the lifestyle of lower caste without changing their caste name. They emulated their lifestyle. For example, today also, what is the care of Nambudari Brahmins? They emulated the lifestyle of lower caste, but call themselves as Nambudaris. Sharmas, they are emulating the lifestyle of lower caste, but they are not coming out from their caste fold. Why? Every human being want what? Show, very good. Social status. Every human being want what? Social status. I don't want to be in vegetarian, but I want social status. I don't want to be a teetotal, but I want social status. 
So they are continuing their castes, but emulating the lifestyle of nobody. So the concept of desanskritization is not that much popular. Why? Because a Brahmin is not coming down. Just he is emulating, but continuing his own caste name, but continuing his own caste status. So compared with the sanskritization desanskritization is not that much popular. Hence, sanskritization is a real concept which is present in Indian society. Clear? Any doubts? This is about Sanskritization. Sanskritization, Westernization, Modernization, compulsory one topic will be there. Quickly tell me how you will write a question. If there is a question, write about Sanskritization.